second after all, green flag comes out once again. They race off into the corner. Kyle goes way high. Harvick goes way low. Jimmy Johnson thought about going three wide to the outside. Kyle Busch saw that move coming. Moves way up to block it. Now Kyle and Harvick are nose to nose for the lead. Now Kyle gets a fender out in front. Harvick rallies back down low. Kyle crowds him at the entrance to the corner. Harvick now on the inside line gets the advantage and will take Kyle at the racetrack off four. Kyle Busch trying to hang strong on the outside, but not strong enough. Harvick to the point. Busch back to second. Jimmy Johnson goes third. Then it's Jeff Gordon and Joey Logano. That's the top five. Six right now is Martin Truex Jr. Eric Alvarola rides in seven. Oh, Austin Dillon with a vicious flick into the outside retaining wall. Cut down the right front tire midway between one and two and absolutely pounded the safer barrier in turn number two. Austin Dillon just talking about him a few moments ago. The great run he was having here this afternoon. And now trouble in turn two, Dave. Joe, that was a vicious lick for Austin Dillon. They were at full song on brand new tires, which means they were barely lifting through the corners. Something went wrong. I believe the right front tire may have let go, and he just rocketed up the banking and side slapped that outside retaining wall. A hard, hard hit for Austin Dillon. Amazing, because that was such a good race car, and Austin was giving it all he could, running well inside the top ten. Dave Moody calling the action for you over off of turn number two and bringing out our caution flag only for the third time, but what it does do Joe is give us an opportunity to take a look at that leaderboard and update you on some of the chase contenders that were outside of the lead lap and are now back on the lead lap and among them teammates Carl Edwards and Denny Hamlin. Denny had the problem early on this afternoon getting into AJ Allmendinger in turn number three went down a lap and struggled for a long time finally he's back and Carl we talked about his problem speeding on pit road and then having a, a flutter problem with the engine, as it was described, they think they have that taken care of. Both those guys back on the lead lap now. And a huge break now for the drivers that took the waiver.